Hello everyone, it's Dawn here from Dawn's Inspirations. Today I wanted to share a little um, tip with you or a little project with you. I thought with Christmas fast approaching, I'll just show you how easily you can make gift bags just out of normal household um, envelopes. The ones I'm using today are um, the manila, like the craft effect, because it's very popular at the moment. And I'm using the type that have got the top opening on them. Uh, these tend to work better than the ones with the V. You can use the ones with the V and glue them down, but I tend to find the top opening ones work. Um, I just get the cheap everyday ones from the um, supermarket or stationery shop. I don't spend a lot of money on them, just get them as cheap as possible and then make perfect gift bags. So with a few supplies like some acrylic paint or a normal household emulsion match pot paint, uh, ink pads, stamps and ribbons and some envelopes we can make some gift tags. So I'm going to go along and show you what we can do. So the first one I'm going to show you is using the acrylic paint. So I'll just bring my messy mat in here. So I'll just bring the craft messy mat in here and I've got some red acrylic paint that I put out on the side here and I put my um, stamp on a acrylic block here. I'm using like it's the snowflake star type stamp and then what I'm going to do is just dab some of the paint so even if you're not a crafter and don't have any distress inks or ink pads you can still do this type of project so I'm just going to go ahead and randomly stamp the image all over the envelope. Now as I say you can use lots of mediums for this project distress inks and um, permanent ink pads if you want to use that type of thing I'm using paint here I have also done it with um, an embossing um, um, embossing powder over the top of um, some ink so you give a raised um, embossed effect as well so you could do that with it as well if you wanted to make it a bit more elaborate um, you could zentangle on them you could um, use no no ends of means of stamps that you've got I mean I'm making this one a Christmassy one but I also make them for birthdays I've got some nice letter stamps in squares and often I put sort of happy birthday on one side of what would be the bag so like the envelope and then the other side put the person's name so it makes it quite a nice personal gift as well so once you start playing around with these things you'll think of all the stash you've got at home crafty stash and you'll think of all the different things that you can do with these to make the, the little gift bags your personal thing really so I just wanted to share this with you because with Christmas fast approaching now in December I just thought it's quite a good way of showing you a quicker project that you can do to gift wrap some of your Christmas presents so uh, that's why I thought I'd share it with you today so I'm just randomly stamping this I'm taking some of the stamps as you can see as well off the envelope so I'm not trying to make this one too uniformed so I'm making it quite um, a random pattern there again with this distress inks you'll get more of a distressed look you could always double stamp which means stamp once and then stamp so you get a more faded look so it's entirely your choice and your style as well. Everybody has their own sort of style of crafting. And so there's no right or wrong. It's your personal preference of what you like to do. So just do the last one here off. Okay, so that's using the acrylic paint. And then to clean up your acrylic paint block, just wipe it off with some baby wipes. And then if you've got any paint like I have stuck in there, I'll just put it in some soapy washing up water and a soft toothbrush to clean that up. Okay, so that's the first one I wanted to show you. So I'm just going to put that to the side so that can be drying. And I'll just move this out the way. Okay, the other one I wanted to show you is this is quite a big envelope. This is an A4 envelope I'm also doing here. Top opening it yet again, so top opening again. Because this is a bigger envelope, I'm going to use a bigger stamp on this and this time I'm going to go ahead and use a Brilliance ink pad this one's in a cosmic co um, copper so again I'm sort of going along the theme of Christmas but you don't have to it's entirely up to you now this pattern is obviously a bit more uniform so I'm trying to sort of follow that uniform defect um, so I would only suggest that if you're doing 
um, big projects like bigger envelopes I would go for bigger stamps otherwise you'd be there forever more stamping little stamps out so um, try and go for the bigger stamps for those projects so I'll just put a few down the side here and then I'll show you how we're going to turn this into a gift bag put a couple more down the side here the ribbon I've got as well I just got from the haberdasher store in there they've got like a, a basket that they sell bundles of old ribbon and ribbon like off cuts for like you know pence really so that's where I've got my ribbon from that I'm going to be using today as well so that's using a um, ink pad itself so I'll just clean my mat here so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to trim off the top of the envelope okay so we need our paper trimmer for the next bit so with your paper trimmer just need to trim and that's where the envelope opens so I'm just going to trim below there so we're going to get rid of this flat piece so if you bring it through on your paper trimmer and just try and go as close as possible to the flap okay I'm just going to cut that off so that can be discarded and thrown away and now we've got something which is resembling this so it looks like a bag already so already you think oh I could use that just as a gift bag as it is but I'm now going to show you how we're going to make it into a more freestanding gift bag so if you get the score board okay I'm going to score this at one and a half inches all the way around now the depth of what you're scoring does depend on how wide you want to have your bag so this is just something to consider when you're actually going to be making your bags you know you might might want to paint all your bags up or stamp them all up and then when you've actually worked out what presents are going in what bags you can then go ahead and um, decide what depth you want to score them because obviously gift bags all come in different um, depths now as per usual as a lot of you know me I'm going to flip and score on the opposite side just to bend the fibres of the paper also being this is a um, just cheap everyday envelope I just want to make sure the fibres are bent nicely and they're not going to rip when we start scoring so all the way around on that I'm going to bring my mat back in and now we're going to just burnish these folds so fold one over and just give it a nice burnish and again on this side this is quite a nice satisfying product uh, project as well because uh, you know gift bags aren't cheap in in the shops at the moment and the craft um, elements in crafting the craft paper look is really big at the moment so it's quite good to run with it and use it in lots of ways I'm now going to open it up and I'm going to rescore it the opposite direction okay so as you can see I've printed the pattern on both sides of my bag so I'm now going to just rescore this on both sides before we go ahead and make it into our bag okay so you've now got all your bits all scored and now you're going to put your hand inside and we're going to gradually bend the bottom down we've got the sun streaming through here at the moment we've got the sun streaming and the wind howling at the moment so we're going to put your hands in and sort of make a where you've got your score lines make sort of creases so you're getting the the effect of what it's looking like when you get to these sides where you've got this seam here you're going to push that in like you would um, a paper or carrier bag so that's going to push inwards okay and do the same again on the other side it just takes a little bit of time this part of the project but uh, in real time it's no time at all and it's still as I say a lot cheaper than going and buying gift bags from the shops so just push that in together okay so now it's starting to look like this you've now got these two 
wings here at the bottom so it stands upright and you've got these two wings now on my envelope I've got this little flappy bit that doesn't really quite know what it wants to do with itself so I'm going to snip that off so as I say every envelope is going to be different and you'll probably be using a different brand to what I'm using so you might not have the little flappy bit but I do so I've just snipped mine off so now that is now looking like a, a sort of box bag now at this stage if you wanted you could attach um, some handles and make it into a gift bag if you wished in that way or I'm going to show you another put, uh, way we're going to use it so these little flappy bits at the bottom we're just going to fold these under and glue those down so they look like that so I'm now going to put a little bit of wet glue just on those I'm just using my Kalal all-purpose glue here you could use um, glossy accents this is got glued up sorry you could use glossy accents you could use cosmic shimmer you could use PVA if you wanted to use your tape runner you could go ahead and use your tape runner so I'm just popping a bit of glue on the triangular part and then I'm going to just fold those in on themselves so fold those down like that and now I'm going to flip it over put it on my board and then put my hand inside the bag and just push them together so I'm just sort of burnishing from the inside of the bag if you like to help the glue to set and push those in so now that should look like that so that one's still not quite stuck give that another burnish and then at this stage you can push the sides in now this one's got quite a nice depth on it so if I wanted to put something in as a gift um, it's got ni uh, quite a nice depth on it which is good okay and then what we're going to do is I'm going to do another um, fold along the top so I'm going to get the scoreboard again and this time I'm just going to do an inch score line on the top so with it all folded flat I'm just going to go ahead and do an inch score line Again on both sides okay bring the board back in and then we're going to fold this over and they're going to fold that over like that and burnish that down so as I say you could put handles on this if you wish I'm doing this as a bag this time I'm now going to get my cropper doll and with the biggest hole setting I'm just going to make a couple of um, holes here I'm not measuring this I'm just sort of eyeballing but if you wanted to be more precise go you can go ahead and measure um, your holes and um, to go with the sort of bronze gold look I've got here I've got some burgundy ribbon so I'm just going to taper one end so I can thread this through as I say I just picked this up at the haberdashery store in their cheap ribbon box so you just get lengths of all different colours for you know 50p a pound very minimal amount so I thread that through and then back through on the other side And you can make a nice big bow so for the price it's cost of an envelope which is pence and a piece of ribbon I think this piece of ribbon cost me 25p from the bargain bin at the haberdashery store you've got a lovely gift bag so I'm now just going to taper these ends to match that up so that looks nice there's our nice gift bags it's got a nice depth to it so it's sturdy enough to put something in there you know any sort of type of gift so ideal for birthday Christmas anything you wish really so that's one version of the gift bag as I say the depth you do your creases surely depends on the items you're going to be putting in your gift bag okay so I'll just go ahead with you and show you the red one that we did 
so that was the red one that we've done as well this is a smaller envelope this is an A5 envelope so I'll just show you again what we're going to do is we're going to snip the top off now because this is a smaller bag I'm not going to, I'm going to do this um, scoring at a smaller depth so I think this time we'll score at one inch okay so we're going to go ahead and score one inch on three sides one two and the third one flip it over and do it again one two three once you get to make a few of these you will get quite quick at them I mean if you get your bags um, you know painted up you know the folding bit can be done it's quite a good job to do in front of the telly of an evening it's quite satisfying really as well because uh, I don't like to sit and te watch telly and be idle I like to keep my fingers busy so these are the types of project I, ch I do in front of the telly at night uh, my family don't see me sitting with my hands still for very long so we fold all these over okay pop a hand inside now just to make the bag itself so bring the creases all out on themselves like we did with the big one okay same again on this side okay so you've now got your two little little ears if you like so to say so we're going to get those glued down now I've got to snip my bits off I've got two little flaps on this one as well so I'm going to snip those off so we'll get those stuck down a bit of wet glue I'm using so as I say any glue will do so don't don't worry if you haven't got the same glue as I've got fold those in and flip it over and then burnish them down so you get a nice uh, flat bottom on there now these are quite sturdy enough to take um, jars or something heavy if you were concerned you could always put reinforce the bottom just with a piece of um, I'd cut a piece of cardstock out that that measurement and I would pop it inside before you put your gift and that would just help to reinforce that inside if you wished if you were concerned now we're gonna now fold our top over you can see how quickly this is now starting to come together so I'm going to do an inch score line on the top of this one as well so this obviously is for a smaller gift but as I say you can just go ahead and look out on the market and see what um, envelopes are available the top opening ones as I say do work the best so we'll now fold that over a hole punch make a couple of holes another thing you can do with these which I have done for this bag make some little gift tags to match um, I've just got a nice little craft gift tag here and I've used um, just a Merry Christmas stamp and I've then embossed that with some black embossing powder to give a bit of texture and a to that and then I've just brushed around the edge of the tag itself with the same paint that I used to actually make um, the bag so it's the same colour so it's the same stamp so I'm just going to thread the ribbon through here like we did the last one so put that nice and flat at the back twist that round so it's nice and flat at the back there okay and then this time I'm going to thread my gift tag through as well just hoping it goes through this little hole that's here and then go ahead now and tie a nice bow so it just makes a nice little gift bag Christmas fast approaching if you didn't want to go ahead and uh, 
go and purchase gift bags you can now make your own in very little time and for very little money I'll just take the fray bits off the end of that ribbon you know you could look around in your crafty stash and see what ribbons you've got that you haven't used for a long time but uh, that's the second little gift bag that's a smaller one there with the little tag on it as well so a nice little gift bag ideal to take a gift or present or you could pop these on your table at Christmas with some little table gifts in them so there we go there's two gift bags there one made from an A4 envelope with um, an ink pad pattern on there and one with the acrylic paint made with an A5 envelope so that's my little take on a gift bag ready for Christmas and for you to make so I do hope you like the project and you have a go at making some for yourself so I'm Dawn from Dawn's Inspirations. Uh, thank you very much for watching. You can always pop over to my website, dawnsinspirations.com, to see lots of other little projects that I've got there. And I'm also available on Facebook, dawnsinspirations.com, and also on Twitter. And I'd love to hear your comments back. You know, you can leave a comment on my website page. That would be lovely. Then other crafters can also see what's going on. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Dawn from Dawn's Inspirations. Bye-bye for now.